ProLin PLN. It doesn't matter if you're creating machine, cast, molded, or sheet metal parts, Solid Edge with synchronous technology will allow you to create your models as fast as you can think. I've been briefed on a new spring clip that we need, so let's throw this design concept down. As we create this model, please pay attention to how much we work with our geometry on screen rather than clicking into commands the way it should be. By selecting more than one thickness face at a time, we can create multiple flanges at one time. Now, these flanges are created with a 90 degree bend, but what if I didn't want them at 90 degrees? Look how easy it is to change the angle of both sides simultaneously. Uh, it looks like we might have made a mistake. We actually need this end to remain at 90 degrees to each other, but Solid Edge has tools to relate 3D faces like this uh, horizontal vertical relationship to move the flanges back to what we needed. No need to undo. We have the freedom and flexibility for change. Now on this back face, we need a deformed feature. And with Solid Edge, we can create a simple sketch, go into the bead command, input all of the values that we need, and just like that, we'll create a deformed feature from a single vertical sketch line. Now tell me that wasn't easy. On the top face of the spring clip, we need to add a rectangular cutout that will pass through all three flanges here on the right hand side. A nice, quick, and easy way to create a rectangle is uh, just to click and drag to draw it. A sketch relation will then help ensure that the cutout stays centered up on our model. And we can also place any key dimensions that we know at this point, and in this case we have one that's 16 millimeters wide. By selecting the regions of the sketch, we can simply pull the cutout through the part, but notice it's cutting through the end of the model, which we don't really want. So instead, what we want is the same length of cut, but created before the part is bent into shape. No problem, Solid Edge can flatten the part on the fly before cutting. Now in this area, we need to add two additional flanges. And again, we can easily change the angle of both of these flanges with the steering wheel. This is our main control with synchronous technology, hence its name. Now, around on the back side of the part, we need to create a partial flange. So if we select the face and grab the smaller arrow and start dragging, this will create a flange. In the toolbar, there are options to move material inside and, yes, also create a partial flange instead of a full flange. One additional partial flange is needed down on the other end of the part, uh, but this time the flange is going to go upwards. How about let's put the same size flange on the other side of the part? Yes, we can do that with the mirror command. You have the option also to break the link between the mirrored features on creation. So yes, even though it is direct modeling, synchronous technology provides an organized tree with feature links where required, such as the mirror. Now, when we created the very first sketch, we locked that sketch on the top reference plane. But at this point, I've changed my mind and decided the top face needs to be at a five degree angle. In most other history-based CAD system, this change would be a big no-no because of the fragile feature dependency, but not with Solid Edge. Pick the face, move the steering wheel, and rotate, and see how easy that is. Here we need to create a jog on the face, and just like everything else, it's simple to create with just a sketch line. And uh, while we're at it, we can go ahead and add a jog down on this flange as well. Now, seeing as we have all of these sharp corners on the model, I think rounding them would make the part a little bit safer to work with. And we'll go ahead and add an 8mm face round uh, to all of these selected faces. On the back flange of the model, the width doesn't actually need to be this wide. If we use the longer arrow of the steering wheel, we can change the width of the flange and make the change symmetrical from side to side. We also need a hem here at the back of the model. Watch how easy this is going to be create. We can select the edge, enter in a few values, and here we have a hem. So in a short amount of time, we're able to throw down this pretty complex design concept. And you'll be happy to know that even if you don't create sheet metal components like we had here, you'll still enjoy the same quick workflow 
minimal sketching, and mouse travel, but above all, ease of use. Push and pull to work directly with the design, and remember, no need to worry about what order should I do this in. You can modify at any time with Solid Edge with synchronous technology. ProLin PLN.